Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Summer here to talk about lesson 905, the side, 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 triple S, S cubed. I can determine if I have enough information to prove two triangles are congruent by side, 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 and write its congruency statement. So in this theorem, the side, 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 or the S cubed theorem, it says that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So if this side is congruent to that, that is congruent to that, that is the congruent to that, means that they are congruent triangles. So for question one, it says, well, it says to decide whether the congruent, congruent statements is true. Explain your reasoning. This is saying that triangle DFG is congruent to triangle HJK. And yes, because this is congruent to here, it's saying that these all three sides are congruent. So yes, congruent using S, S, S. The next question is angle triangle ACB is congruent to a, um, triangle CAD. And this is no, you can't prove it because this length is 3 does not equal 4. You have this length is the same. And this length are the same, but 3 and 4 are not. So no, you can't use side, side, side to prove congruency. You try the next question. Can you determine whether or not this triangle is congruent to this triangle? And the answer is yes, because this angle is, or this side is equal to that side equal to that side and equal to that side. They're all three sides are congruent to one another, which means that the triangles are congruent using side, side, side. So the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem is that if the hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and leg of a second right triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So if we're saying that this part and the hypotenuse are congruent, then the triangles are congruent. So in this question um, exercise, decide whether enough information is given to prove that the triangles are congruent using the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem. So question five, it's telling us that this leg is congruent to that leg, and then the hypotenuse is congruent to the other hypotenuse. So yes, yes, they are congruent using HL theorem. So you try question six, is triangle PQT and triangle SRT congruent using the HL congruence theorem? So they're saying that this side is congruent to this side and this leg is congruent to this leg, but this is the hypotenuse of both triangles. So no, you can't use, use HL theorem to prove congru oops, congruence.